Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial. This one's going to be on how to free up some extra disk space for your solid state drive. Or, if you have a small hard drive, it works as well. Um, this is on Windows 7. It also works on Windows Vista. First of all, you'll need to go to Start, down here, and right-click Computer, click Properties. And over on the left here, you'll see Advanced System Settings. Go ahead and click that. And under the Advanced tab, you'll see Performance, and under Performance, you'll see Settings right here, the very top Settings box. Click that, and go again to the Advanced tab, and then click under Virtual Memory here, Change. Alright, the uh, Virtual Memory is what your computer uses for RAM after it runs out of um, RAM. So it, it actually takes up a whole lot of extra space on your hard drive, and if you have a decent amount of RAM, or you have an extra disk on your computer, or a, a little flash drive, then it, this is a great tip and it, it saves you a good probably four gigabytes of space at least. All right, what you'll need to do is click your solid state or small hard drive right here and go ahead and click no paging file right here and then set. And after you're done with that, if you have a secondary disk, go ahead and click that and click custom size here and type in however many megabytes you want to use of your hard drive, or your secondary hard drive for virtual memory. I would recommend 6,000 megabytes, which is roughly 6 gigabytes. That's not going to run out, so change that there. That's the initial size, maximum size. It'll expand a little bit if it runs out of all that, which never happens, but make that a little bit bigger. So I'm 6,500 and 7,000. Somewhere in there is good. Change it, then click set for that too. Don't forget to click set. If you don't, if you just click OK, it won't change it. Um, then click set, and then OK. And then click OK again. And back here at the System Properties box, you'll see on, under the Advanced tab again, Environment Variables. And click that. And right here under Environment Variables, you'll see Variable TEMP. And we're going to be changing your temporary files, where your computer stores temporary files, to that secondary disk or flash drive or whatever you have plugged in. If you do have a flash drive that you want to use for this, make sure you go ahead and plug it in right now. Um, and but if you do use the flash drive you'll have to keep it in there 24 7 um, just remember that so alright go ahead and plug it in if you want it or use your secondary hard drive and first of all we need to go to start again leave all this open go to computer and under your secondary disk or your flash drive go ahead and go into that and right click and create a new folder and type in under the folder name temp for temp and I already have a temp folder, so it won't let me do that, but I'm, um, it'll, it'll work fine for you guys. So go ahead and, and uh, make a temp folder, T-E-M-P. Then go back to your environment variables um, spot right here, and go ahead and under variable temp, click edit. And what you need to do is type in your drive letter. Uh, mine's D. If yours is a different letter, it should tell you under computer like it says right here D and if you have a flash drive it'll, be, it'll probably be E or F but anyway change this to D or F or whatever your um, number is for or sorry letter for your disk and then colon slash temp which is the name of the folder you just created click OK and then do the same for TMP click edit and then change it to D colon slash temp or E or whatever Click OK, we're all done with that. And go back, click OK again. And go back, exit. Then go to start one more time. Type in CMD. That's not N, C M D. And you'll see this little thing pop up. Don't hit enter, right click it and click run as administrator. That'll open up the command prompt. And what you'll need to do here is this is going to disable your hibernation file for your computer or reduce it actually. But if you use hibernation, don't do this. I don't use hibernation. I don't really think it's that useful. But uh, this can save you some extra space too. So if you don't want to disable it, go ahead and skip this part. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in power cfg dash h space off. Oh, space between the power cfg and dash h as well. So power cfg dash h off and hit enter. That turns your hibernation off so you can no longer put your computer into hibernation mode which is not that useful anyway but who cares. Anyways, alright go ahead and go ahead and type in power cfg again 
dash h again. This time, instead of off, you're going to hit dash size. And then type in 50%. Now, that, what that does is that reduces the file that your computer is storing on your hard drive or solid state drive to 50% of its normal size. And so you can save uh, half the space that that was using, which is probably a gig or two gigs, somewhere in there. Hit enter. And it'll give you the message, if it works right, that the hybrid file size has been set to blah, 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 blah bytes. All right. So now you've reduced your amount of space that, you're, that is being used in your solid state drive. I was able to save up, I think, about seven or maybe eight gigabytes from doing these three tips. I found them to be uh, very useful little little things to do with my computer. Um, hope this has been helpful. If you guys have any more questions or want me to do a tutorial on something specific, just uh, drop me a message or post a comment on the video below. All right. See you guys later.